Hypixel Skyblock is a game with markets, and in order to gain money, you need to sell things into this market, whether it's the auction house or the bazaar. Now, imagine this scenario. Let's say it's a weekend, and you decided to mine gemstones all day instead of going out with your friends, because mining gemstones is the best way to make coins. You could mine 6 perfect jasper gemstones and make around 100 million coins in 6 hours, and you really want to buy that cool weapon you wanted. So, you cancel all your plans for today, and you spend 6 hours mining. And, when you think it's finally time to sell all the valuable items you've mined, you open the market, and you find out that your hard work that should have sold for 100 million coins, is now only selling for 100 coins. That scenario is not an exaggeration, and it's something that actually happened multiple times in this game. But, how is that possible? Before we dive deep into this video, I need to clear something out first. This video's purpose is only entertainment, and I don't encourage anyone to dupe or cheat. All the dupe methods showcased in this video are patched and were done a really long time ago. I also gotta clear out the fact that by subscribing right now, you can become an under 250k subs gang. Make sure you also use code Hellcastle in the checkout when buying stuff from the Hypixel store, like basic human rights. I'll use the money I get from it to buy more Blaha shark plushies. Anyways, now with the disclaimer and the shilling out of the way, let's start breaking down how very few people can ruin an economy this much. The simple answer is... duping. They duplicate really valuable items so much that it has no value anymore. For example, one perfect gemstone is worth anywhere between 10 million to 25 million coins, and in these videos, you can see how they had dozens of double chests full of stacked perfect gemstones. But how did they do that? And did it really affect the economy that much? I'll start by telling you how it was able to widely impact the economy, and then I'll break down the two methods they've used and explain them to you. When the mining update rolled out, mining became the most efficient way of making coins, and people with good gear were able to make anywhere between 60 to 120 million coins per hour. The way this worked is that you would mine gemstones in the crystal hollows, then upgrade those gemstone steers by mining more gemstones, until you have a perfect gemstone, which you can sell to the bazaar for tens of millions of coins, or sell it to the NPC. When this update released, everyone left all their previous money-making methods, and all of them started mining all day and night, because it was the most profitable. And this method couldn't really die out, because the NPC sell price for gemstones is pretty good, and the bizarre sell price is even better due to the high demand on gemstones, as they were used in maxing out your armor and making better mining equipment. With this in mind, we know that everyone is using mining as their main source of money, everyone has invested in ridiculously expensive mining gear, and everyone relies on the NPC and bizarre prices of gemstones, and if they crashed, they'd lose a lot of their net worth. And all of that fell apart on multiple occasions where dupers decided to pump trillions of coins worth of gemstones right into the bazaar. This didn't only affect the people making money, but it impacted the entire server on a larger scale. When they did the crash, the prices of gemstones crashed from anywhere between 7200% to 3.2 million percent. A crash this huge in the prices of the most utilized money-making method made people panic really hard and got them to sell their mining gear, which of course lost a lot of value. Every single Skyblock player's armor set that had a perfect gemstone had also lost a decent bit of value. The admins picked up on this eventually, and saw that the only way to fix this is to lower the prices of NPC sell value of gemstones to make their prices naturally lower. So, they literally split in half the prices of gemstones from 8 to 4, and then from 4 to 3 later on. 
This means that if you used to make 80 million coins an hour, you now only make 30 million coins an hour. The admins also realized that the only way to combat this in the future is to make perfect and flawless gemstones completely unsellable to NPCs, so that dupers can't bring trillions into the economy through selling perfect gemstones to NPCs. Obviously, gemstones were OP for making money, and the admins were going to nerf them at some point anyways, but making flawless and perfect gemstones not sellable to NPCs is purely to combat dupers, which is really crazy. Okay, cool. So that's how they ruined the economy. But now, let's talk about the more interesting stuff, like how they managed to dupe. And again, all of these methods were completely patched a long time ago and are completely obsolete. The first ever hackers to start the whole gemstone duping thing were Riceblades11, Realm, and addicted to CBT, which, by the way, CBT stands for Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, and not something else. And to explain how they did it, I'll have to show you these screenshots. Due to the lack of video footage, I had to hop in a voice call with Riceblades and Realm and Addicted, so that they can directly explain to you how it was done. Okay, so this is Rice, and this is not a good name, which is Realm, Realm, however you say yeah. that. Yeah. So, the dupe involves this screenshot, which, I mean, there's an enchanting table saying this location isn't perfect, so I'm assuming there's a minion there. Can you elaborate, like, what the f*** is happening here? Basically, how the dupe worked, what you would do is, if you paused your internet, it would stop sending packs to the server until you unpaused it. So if you had a minion and an enchantment table in your hotbar, and you placed the minion, and then the enchantment table inside of the same block. Um, both of them would be placed in the same thing, which would really confuse the server and do some weird stuff, such as like collection dupes, block dupes, and even like if you just look right here, this enchantment table doesn't even have a book. Once like you do this, the island is just completely bugged. If you break a block and then interact with any block, it will it would revert and you could dupe it. Well, what we did, what we figured out we could do with it, is so if we had a bunch of trap doors and like any block behind it like dirt we could do the glitch where we freeze the island and then while it was frozen we would mine out the dirt behind it and then w when all the trap doors were floating we'd leave the lobby unload it when we came back we would have a setup around in the center blank stream that would lead to each end of it water stream right yeah and chests here. So the chests over there is where you place all the stuff you want to. So any item you would want to do, you would put in there. As the water got closer to each end, you would open the chest, take out the items, and then the server would crash because if one block updates, then updates the one next to it and so on and so forth until it just has way too many block updates for the server to handle. I see. And then, so the server kind of freaks out, it crashes the lobby, and when you come back, it rolls back, um, like, 30 seconds maybe. The inventory is saved separately, so you would have all the items in your inventory, and then you would have the items in the chest as well. The next method that was used was arguably the dumbest dupe method ever, and it was done by Pixel Club and Infuriation. This one has a lot of video footage, which we can analyze. So the first step seems to be him dropping all the perfect gemstones on the ground, and then he lets his alt account pick it up. Then, he opens the bazaar and opens the game's replay menu? I didn't even know you could do that in Skyblock. And then, he clicks on the show replay only button and places it inside his inventory. But since he has a macro open, I'm assuming he auto clicked it multiple times quickly. Now. He switches to his alt account and places all the items he picked up from dropping them on his main inside a chest. He switches to his main account and we notice this message. This message only shows up when a lobby crashes. And after he is able to join back Skyblock, you notice that all the items he dropped onto his alt have now been rolled back into his main account because of the crash. And they are also still inside the chests on his alt which means that he successfully duped the items. Now, I have no clue why the lobby crashes when you click replay from the games menu, but I'm willing to bet it's because the server realizes you are inside a minigame where replays don't exist, 
and spamming the command breach something inside the server, which causes it to crash and roll back. No idea how this feature wasn't tested or experimented with on games like Skyblock, but this feature's purpose is for games like Bedwars and Skywars, so maybe that's why. Either way, this method or any method related to using this replay menu to do does not work anymore, and it does absolutely nothing when you open it in Skyblock. Still no idea why they didn't just block the command from being used when you're in Skyblock, but I guess it's fine since the dupe doesn't work anymore. There were a few more instances of massive crashes, one of the biggest one being 2 trillion coins worth of gemstones duped and pumped right into the bazaar. But I tried to get in contact with the people who did it to get some info and tried to ask around for info about those people, and it seemed like they just one day crashed the economy and then left forever and no one heard of them since. Which I guess is fair, since it's smart to just leave after you've done something this bad. Doing stuff like this doesn't impact your repetition very positively. Either way, this was the story of how only a few people were able to ruin a game's economy. Again, I don't encourage anyone to do this as it will get you banned and wiped, and everyone that I've talked to in this video that were open enough to tell me how they did it, have gotten their main accounts and all their alt accounts banned. So, it wasn't really worth it. Make sure you liked the video if you made it this far, and I'll see you soon in our next vid. See ya! Have a nice day. Okay, well, thank you, Rice. Thank you, Relum. <laughs> Relum didn't say anything, but uh. I'm eating, bro. Relum is eating. <laughs> thumbs up. Uh, okay, thank you, Rice, for explaining it. Mr. Toxic Trips. <laughs> uh, did you quit Skyblock and now? Do you mean Power Wash Simulator? Yes. Hell yeah! Can, does this game have anti-cheat?